uh, please consider us. Uh, we're going to work hard to earn your support, to earn your vote, um, and we're ready to roll up our sleeves and work starting now. Former mayoral candidate and celebrity lawyer Tony Busby announcing his bid to be the next city council member for District G on Houston's west side. To earn the seat, he'll have to beat incumbent Mary Nan Huffman, who was quick to counterattack. Tony Busby doesn't care about District G. He doesn't care about what the taxpayers want. He cares about himself. Money can't combat hard work, grassroots. I've been to 137 HOA meetings over the last 18 months. Um, that's something money can't buy. Panel, what do you make of this intriguing matchup? Mm. Chow, <laughs> I want to ask you. <laughs> Mary Nan's ready, packing for bear there. Cognitive well, I mean, Tony, exactly. <laughs> Tony Busby has a brand, right? And he, he is the, the attorney of the people. It will be very interesting because he is already well known. People know who he is. If he's going to be block walking in those same neighborhoods that, that Huffman's been, you know, uh, serving for the last 18 or so months. So I, I think it'll be a fun, colorful mm -hmm. election. I'm surprised he didn't throw his hat into the mayoral election, but I guess mm -hmm. this is better than nothing to kind of be out in the community. <laughs> I do believe that he has some ser sincere intentions, though. All right, multitasking. Uh, impeachment trial, <laughs> running for council. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> He built his brand, as you yeah. talked about. He built his brand on successful, being a successful trial lawyer. His political brand is going to be a two-time loser at this point, oh. and, and so it, it's it's <laughs> very hard to to beat an incumbent that works the district, that goes out and meets the community, that wears out shoe leather, and these districts are small enough that you can do that. All right, Marcus. I, I, I totally agree with Bob. Listen, yeah, and I hope the people of, of District G are, are ready to make the right decision. I don't live in District G, so I can't speak for it, but my former uh, mentor, Ada Edwards, was a district council member, and I understand what it takes to run a district. It's not being at large. It is, a, it is tedious work. It's laborious. It requires you to be hands-on. It's not a thing that you can just delegate it out and operate it from your law office somewhere else. It really requires shoe leather, and I hope that the pe people of, of, of G gets the person that's going to represent them and not represent themselves. The Gary, take 30, <laughs> leave time for Sergio. Uh, look, both of, both of them are very capable people, uh, and uh, the question will be, who is going to be the watchdog for the next, if, if that's the question, then the answer would be Tony Busby, outspoken, will not be a sh shrinking violet on city council. Uh, if the issue is who's going to do a better job of constituent services, I'm sure they both will. I'm sure Mary Nan has done a good job. She's also uh, got strong police support. So it's going to be a really interesting election. I think it could go either way. Yeah, it, spoken like a guy who hasn't picked a side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sergio. Oh, it's going to be a fun election to watch this one because Busby, you know, he's jumping in too late. He's dramatic. He's he's colorful and he's. And, you know, he just wants to remain in the spotlight. Why he's doing this? Well, I guess he has a lot of money to burn, but uh, you know, he's going to be it's a double buying billboards. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey right. look, there's another factor here. There's a lot Dude, of candidates really saying <laughs> he's not jumping in the mayor's race. Yeah. You know, <laughs> all right. I, I don't. I don't think. It, I don't think they would have had anything to sweat. I think what Bob mentioned earlier was true. If he had jumped into the mayor's race, it would have definitely given him a double L. Right. Yeah. All right.